Hello everyone, welcome to another session. In this session, I am going to explain about the whole process of uh, recurring recurring entries or recurring document. Uh, recurring means uh, uh, we need to, uh, if you are going to create the document in every month or uh, very very frequently, then in that case, uh, we have in SAP one functionality recurring document. So we will be creating one document and uh, we will be scheduling the bad jobs and as per our requirement. So on that time, on that date, uh, SAP will automatically create the recurring documents. So, so uh, let's get into it. To create the a recurring document template, we need to use the transaction code uh, FBD1. So here I'm entering the transaction code FBD1. So here see, enter recurring entry. So here now I'm choosing the company code as 2009. Okay, and uh, first run first run would be 1604 2024 and last run would be in 16.12.2024 i'm giving interval in months so this is first run date it is start and it will end till 16.12.2024 and interval in months it means uh, how frequently you want to post this one every month i want to post this in every month so i'm selecting per month here and then run date run date i need as 16 only 16th of every month and run scheduled uh, just let me afford this one okay this is not required so transfer amount in local currency transfer just check this one copy text text will also copied and so the document type i'm mentioning as SA. I will mention here office rent and currency is INR and document header text would be monthly and now here uh, my cash in hand will be debit and the debit entry would be 1000 this one hit enter and the rent amount would be 15,000 and then credit should be with my rent account which is uh, let me do the F4 here office rent this one only and then hit enter again and enter the amount 15,000 and as well as we need to mention the cost object okay just click on f4 and controlling area this so i have one cost center so the entry is done now so i will be saving the template this is my template for the recurring entry post the recurring entry just click on save here so here we can see document 910001 was stored in company code 2009 okay so to change at any moment we can change the, this recurring document with the help of our transaction code fbd2 so here we can change the recurring document if you want any changes needs to be a incorporate we can change it okay now so to display this document a b d3 display recurring document okay now go back so we need to uh, post a recurring document in every month so for that 
we need to access the transaction code f.14 so here create postings documents for recurring document okay uh, by using the recurring document we will be we make the postings so here i'm mentioning 2009 company code physical year 20 sorry 2024 here and then my document type would be sa and next run would be 16.05.2024 okay then click on execute here session sapf 120 was not created it's saying so session name would be need to be provided and then now click on uh, execute session test run was not created okay something issue is there here okay now let me execute this one so we have to maintain the date so first of all first document I, I by mistakenly I have given a file here uh, so I have corrected and then I have clicked on execute then we can see the test run was created session was created so we need to check the session uh, in other in earlier step we have created the session here you've got 14 now we need to use the transaction code sm35 and we need to run that session just hit and enter so this is the session which i have created okay now select this session and click on process and select this one display errors only and click on process here so here we can see process of batch job input session completed session overview or exit batch input it will come out from the exit from the screen now whether the recurring document has been created or not we can check with the help of transaction code f.15 so here give the company code 2009 and physically at 2024 and then click on execute here so here we can see uh, 40 50 debit and this document has been created now this is our uh, recurring entry document uh, let me go back to the sm35 Uh, just a second uh, so here in app.15 we can see here uh, so posting date is 16 4 2024 here we can see this one and first run first run is 16 4 2024 this is done now the next run we can see 16 5 2024 so the first run has been document has been already created uh, let me open another session and go to check in the document whether the document has been created or not in b03 okay go to document list here i'm giving my company code and physical year and document type and then hit enter and click on execute here so here recurring entry yeah this one this is my recurring document template and this is my document which has been posted now so here we can see i have mentioned the difference as office rent and 15,000 here okay now 
go to header details header text i have mentioned office rent monthly and here also you can see the transaction code mbd5 this has been posted through mbd5 and session name test run and my recurring document template it's also captured here so so let me post one more document fashion f dot for in again i'm entering the company code and then physical year if we have multiple recurring document we can maintain the number range with the template number range then system automatically pick the document and now this time i am giving the next turn on 16 5 2024 now the first one is uh, posted successfully now i am giving the second one now here i am giving the session name as test run one and click on execute here so here we can see test run one was created successfully okay in the lifetime uh, life scenarios we will be saving this variable and we will create one background job so based on that background job uh, configuration the, that particular day that background job will execute and it will post automatically okay now if you, are, if you want to post manually then we have to process uh, go through with this process then slash in sm35 and select that session this was my session test run run one and click on execute and select the display headers only and click on process so here we can see session overview done yes it, it is done now if we want we can see the log as well so this is my test run one and here uh, yeah this one only so here we can see transaction read transaction process one transaction with error zero transaction deleted zero so it has been processed one so now i will go back to go back to slash n f dot 15 so to display the posted documents so here i'm giving this one and just execute so here now we can see first run is this one 16 4 2024 and next run it's showing 16 6 it means in june another entry also posted okay now go one more step back so somehow we can see all the documents whatever has been posted here uh, we need to change the layout okay so let me go back to fp 3 screen click on document list and execute here so here we can see the second document also posted successfully uh, with the posting date of 16 5 2024 it's fifth period so this is how we have to create the recurring documents and we have to process the if we need to create in a recurring document template in abd1 if we want to display or change we can use a abd2 and abd3 and to post the actual document by taking the reference of a recurring template we need to use the transaction code f.14 then sap will create a session uh, we need to go manually sm35 and we need to execute that session then system will post the recurring entry the, the posted entry we can check in uh, f.15 the status next run date and we can uh, see the actual the posted document may be 03 transaction so that's all in this session thank you so much for your uh, time thank you